Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are back in seven days to die. Alpha 18. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are well. Okay, so we are gonna do a bit of a run. It's sort of getting towards the end of the day here before the um, the night sort of settles in. But I want, what I wanted to do is I am severely undernourished, as you can see right now. So I actually don't have anything on me. Um, that's going to sort of keep me alive for much longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best. Um, I'm going to try and... Oh, yeah, that's right. So I've, got, I've got a little personal water source here too. So I'm never going to run out of water, which is awesome. But what I want to do is I want to find um, some food, something so I can survive on and um, hopefully get me out of this little rut that I'm in at the moment. So um, I don't sort of, yeah have a continuation of just dying upon dying all that sort of stuff so yeah we're going to sort of check a few things out i want to i might raid a um a house or something like that hopefully i can get myself a um a cooking pot and i think that's probably one of the main things i want to do before nightfall so yeah it might be a short video i'm not too sure yet but for now what we're going to do is we are going to just try and find you know something to do so um don't want to go into the bear den just yet. That's probably one thing I don't want to do. Because uh, that is the bear den. Yes, it is. And uh, we got Eldo's cabinet. I don't think he'll have any food out there or anything like that. So uh, let's go over here. And let's see if there's anything I can... Uh, where dog... Uh, ooh, I don't, uh, don't want to go down there. Um, okay, I just want to sort of maybe loot a few things around here, see if there's anything that might be appealing, I guess, and see if there's anything that I can sort of uh, get my hands on. Um, so I'm just going to make my way over. I doubt there's going to be any doggies around here, so I should be okay. And I'm just going to sort of... Uh, yeah, I know there, there might be dogs down here. I don't know if I want to go into this house just yet. Early, early game, I don't I don't know what I want to do just yet, but I'm sort of going to have a quick squeeze at the map here. Uh, I think the trader was over there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, are you the trader? Work mixer, that's my trader. Okay, so that's my trader over there, so cement mixer and whatnot over there. Um, I don't know if there was anything over this way either, so um, maybe we might do some exploring, I'm not too sure, but... I want to sort of see if I can raid a house or two, just to see if I can, you know, um, find some certain things, and then we can sort of move on from there. And I've got a z zombie over here. Let's see if I can, yep. Yeah. Got your attention, haven't I? Let's see if I can just sort of take you out at a distance without any problems. Get my... No? Thank you. Let's just get a little bit of distance here. Okay, don't twitch along, there we go, don't rage on me please, thank you very much. Um, can I open this up, yes I can, okay, okay, just gotta be very quiet, probably not the best thing to do, because they will be coming, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh. ah, nearly, <laughs> Uh, where are you? Just want to get my distance away from you. Come on, friend. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Okay. And unfortunately, I haven't got the stamina right now. And that's where I'll probably need food to sort of get my heals back up. Stamina and whatnot. Same thing with this as well. Like, I find... It the crawlers are probably going to be the easiest zombies to kill right now, especially when they don't rage as fast as what the, the standard zombies do at the moment. So yeah, I've sort of got to be careful with that, I guess, at the end of the day. Is there people upstairs? Is there an upstairs around here? I should probably do the right thing and close that for now. And Alright, let's see if I can loot what I can here. Anything interesting? Come on, food. No, just water. Um, it'd be nice if I have a cooking pot or something. Okay, electrical parts, nothing here. Um, okay, well, I've got the beer recipe. That was kind of neat, nice and early on. Can I, can I, can I, no. 
you know what, I haven't got time for this. Just open it up. Doesn't take too long to do that, so. Alright, cool. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, microwave. Oh, thought I. I did not. Okay. Empty, empty, empty. Oop, empty, empty, empty. Okay. It's going to be a while before you sort of make your way in there. Just wanted to see if there was anything. Ah, there is. Come on. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have that luxury. So let's just open. Oop, no. Ah, okay. Can I... Let's see if I can just do this. I'm lazy. I'm just going to... See if I can just open this up. There we go. Thank you very much. Nothing. Oh, that was a bummer. Alright. Ah, it's just another crawler. And I will suspect that I should have another bag up here. Of course, I'm in the wrong sort of. No, nothing. It's just that there. That's it. Okay. Cool. I don't want to deal with you, or do I deal with you? I need to repair that. I need to repair that. So I'm just going to go ahead and repair that. And that, it's just a crawler. It's locked anyway, so you know what? I'm not going to bother with you. So let's get out of here. Let's move on to something else. And nothing, no, nothing in there. Anything in here for me? Just some rotting flesh. Actually, rotting flesh is good as well, so it's good if you want to start up a little farm if you're going to go into the living off the land perk. Oh. Actually, I'll get some of these. Um, okay, so actually the snow berries are good to get. If you find yourself you're in the snow biome for whatever reason, um, if you started off in there or anything like that, you can get snow berries for miles. Like, for oh, there's an excessive amount. Oh, actually, I was here last episode. That's fine. Um, yeah, so you can get so much snow, um, snow berries, it's not funny. And to the point where you can just sort of have them here, have a free space. I'm going to learn that too. I'm going to scrap that. Got some yucca fruit there, so we're good at the moment. Um, but yeah, basically I was at one point just punching and eating. It was absolutely crazy. And it'll just quench your, th um, quench your hunger. And at least gets you a little bit more stamina, a little bit more heal as well at the same time. Of course, admittedly, not enough at that either, so you really really can't sort of use that as a um, as a primary thing, but at least you can utilize this to a point and you know get away from starvation and things like that. So yeah, again, little tip. Whether it'll be much of any use to you guys or not, but it does get your stamina up bit by bit. At one point, um, I was watching someone where they just were basically just doing just what I just mentioned. And they got at least 50 or 60 berries. And you can imagine getting 50 to 60 berries, you, your stamina just goes up tenfold. So, yeah, like I said, something to sort of think about. Um, Alright, so let's just go in here. Is there anyone up here? There's got to be someone up, up here as soon as I sort of commit to this. No one there? Okay. Ooh, nice. That's cool. Stamina mobility sort of puts you down a little bit, so I'm just going to be careful with that. Um, is there anyone around here? Hello? Oh, hello. No. Yes. Don't want to be backed into a corner, especially with this, the amount of stamina that I have at the moment. Just to be very careful with what I do. Oh. Okay, this might be the end. Oh, Alright, beautiful. Okay, so level 3, got a couple of points to spend. I'm going to spend those overnight. I'm not going to do anything right away. Um, like I said, I really want to get some bits and pieces here, and if I do drop in, I'm going to... Oop, yep, okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, nothing. Well, that sucks. 
Um, so there's got to be definitely zombies in here. Come on, let's be real, guys. No, no one there. Door number two, no one there. Okay. Alrighty. But there is. <coughs> excuse me, sorry. But there is a little bag there. And the likelihood of me getting something out of that, very highly unlikely. But now that I'm down here, may as well try a lock. Anything here? Uh, some nitrate, nothing of importance. I'm going to take these guys because these are a good source of clay, things like that. So I yeah, definitely want to do that. And we get some of this as well. I know it's not much, but it's just basic stuff. And I'm sure you guys are all over this that play this a lot more than what I probably do. Or a lot further into Alpha 18 than what I am at the moment. But, for now, um, just little little things here and there. Okay. Just grab this. Okay. So far, not seeing anything. So as you can see, have a look at the berries. You can see that every time I eat something, you get one. One little health return. It just gets you off starvation. So, in a nutshell, if you if you are struggling to get um, oop, any sort of um, food resource or anything like that, and you're just just struggling like crazy, there is an option for you. And if you guys are fortunate enough to be close to you know a snow biome, and if, or if you're on the cusp of a um, oop, I'm going to die out of this one. I know I'm going to die here. Oop. Oop. Lucky. Um, yeah, so if you guys have that luxury there. Oop, no one there. Perfect. Um, yeah, so you will be able to get some food. It'll probably... Oh, nice. Finally. That's what I wanted. Um, if you guys have that capacity, fantastic. Oh, got another one. Perfect. And at least it sort of gets you out of food, 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 food. Give me food. Get some healing back. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys have that opportunity and you can get yourself, you know, all those berries there, then you'll have a nice little pile of food. And at least this way that you guys will, won't will have much of an urgency to try and run out and grab food or have food on the top of the priority listing. Um, yeah. Again, like I said, just something there just to sort of, um, you know, consider. But for now, I can hear some people walking. Don't know where they are. I think they're over here at the locked door. But this is pushing me to go downstairs. I'm actually just going to quickly run back over here. See if there was an opportunity. No, don't have to. I can probably open this. Why not? Surely. And then just... You know, see what's in here. Hello? Some medication. Nothing here at the moment. And I may as well just grab... Oop. Grab that. Why not? Like I said, I'm probably going to die in here. And I'm probably going to have to reset. Or something or other. But, look, it is what it is. Um... Okay, what have I got down here? I'm going to close this door. Close door, thank you. And is there anyone around here? I don't think so. Hello? Okay, nothing over here, nothing over here. Let's just loop that fella up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, alright, so I look like I've woken up everyone in this area here. Ooh, it's in here. Nothing. Ooh, there I go. <laughs> alright, so, yeah, what do you do? Okay, so let's just jump and spawn back on my bed. At least if you die, yes, you sort of go back, to, back up to full health. Um... So you've been restricted, max XP penalty reach. If I look at my player now, everything's back, back to where it was, but yeah, you do sort of, 
obviously want to sort of hold on and survive. So in hindsight, I prob what I probably should have done is I probably should have held on to that can of food for something else. And I probably should have just on, you know, just uh, took it and basically just um, move on from that. So yeah, probably should have done that initially, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to do for now is because I know it's getting late and I really don't want to sort of do anything um, too strenuous. Now that I've sort of got some food, uh, well, death upon us and back up uh, to where we should be. I'm just going to sort of go about my, uh, my, my day here until the rest of, well, until nightfall sort of hits, which is not too far away. So I'm going to try and loot what I can for now and hopefully don't run, in, run into anything um, that's sort of going to kill me again kind of thing. But we'll just continue to carry on. And I, I do want to try and find and locate other traders as soon as possible. I might do a quest tomorrow actually, so I think I might do a quest tomorrow um, on the next day here, and at least this way you guys will do, you know, come along for the ride I guess, and we'll try and earn some money, as well as, you know, possibly buying some stuff here and there, so I don't mind doing that either, but so far what I'm seeing here is not much, ooh, what have we got, what's that? Needle and thread. Nice. So that's going to help us as well for certain other things as well. Um, so a lot of the mechanics now have changed and you can... And what I mean by that is just looking at that needle and thread. You can um, go and invest time into things like pack mule and things like that. But I find now that if you do the um, storage pocket mod, you can get away with a lot of uh, using that for a lot of things, especially if you've got the right materials or the right clothing, I should say. And if you do that, then at least you don't have to invest points into the pack mule system. Ooh, nice, good find. I've got a funny feeling that this area here. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. I'm going to have to track you, because I want you. <coughs> um, Alright, just stay put, buddy. No. It's going to take a while for me to actually hit him. And I can definitely keep running after him and try and hit him, but it's going to take ages. And I actually started another game as well, just so I can sort of get an idea of the game as well for myself and I found that you need some high output weapon weaponry you can you can sort of take these guys down with with the uh, with the old uh, bow and arrow and things like that but if you really want to sort of take them down straight away definitely want to no arrows okay anyway you definitely want to sort of um, utilize um, you know like turrets or things like that if you've got them. I was actually very fortunate to find a turret in the first couple of days in my other world that I was playing and yeah fortunately for me enough I was able to sort of utilize that so if I've got the capacity to get myself a turret early in game that's going to help you or help me out immensely and I'm sure in your situations as well um, that will help you guys out immensely as well so if you guys can get yourself turrets straight away then uh, my suggestion is to grab them as soon as you can. And it's easy to get scrap iron and things like that. It's really not that hard to be honest with you. So if you guys can sort of make a, a case to get that. Is anyone in here? There we go. Hello. And I find that these little POIs here, or these little areas here, are good to come to. If you guys can get... Oop. If you guys can find these little areas here, you realistically only find one or two zombies at the most. And yes, it may not be much, but you might find a few bits and pieces here. So, yeah, it is a good little opportunity for you to, um, you know, find some potential good loot. If not, then, you know, you just move on. Is what it is. It's fairly quick. It's not going to really put you out of your way kind of thing. 
but if you're lucky, you'll find something. So, you know, with that being said, I'm going to quickly run back. Oop. Get away from the Edgar. And away from you, of course. And see if we can get ourselves home. And I'll have a look at what points I have available, because I might have enough points for possibly Master Chef. I'm still trying to decide which um, offensive build I want to go with. I know a lot of the other high, high profile YouTubers have gone for the Brawler build, which is, which makes sense because a lot of people, it's a new thing and it's something that's interesting that hasn't been done before. But I was also looking at the, the club attribute as well and I don't know if I want to invest in that either because there is high probabilities that you can um, find and get yourself the um, you know perks and things like that to um, uh, invest you, you know your time and effort into uh, club offense as opposed to you know brawl building or, or anything like that but we're going to take a look at that in a sec anyway so definitely suss that out fairly soon um, as soon as I get myself back home Alrighty guys, so we're back. Um, I did want to pump up the gamma a little bit just for this little part here because I know it gets pretty dark pretty quickly and I don't really want to put a or make a dark video that you guys can't see. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. Um, hopefully that's okay with you guys. But I will try to you know start my own base and things like that here because I'm going to do something with that with the uh, with this base here as well moving forward. And along with that, um, I'll get things like candles set up and things like that, just so we've got a little bit of a um, more of a natural feel and an, um, a natural look to the game. But yeah, for now, just for the short interim, uh, just bear with me in regards to this and this alone. And hopefully you guys, um, yeah, will uh, forgive me for that. Anyway, back at base, I'm just going to drop a few things off that I managed to get in my time uh, beforehand. Um, right now I've got a little bit of a collection uh, happening with all this as well which is good finally got myself that cooking pot got two to be exact so I'm gonna pop that back there um, just in case I'll keep a few things close by um, the meats things like that uh, the animal fat which I'm starting to get a little bit of a stockpile with at the moment and I'm just gonna pop a few things into here I'm not gonna really um, go too much into all this but managed to find a few bits and pieces um, sort of off camera as well at the same time so um, really good at the moment I'm just gonna scrap that scrap that put the nitrate into here I'm gonna need the nitrate for the um, uh, what you call it for the farm so the farm's gonna happen I'm gonna get that all organized pretty soon um, just sort of trying to organize myself here at the moment and I always forget a few things that I'm sort of looking and I'm sort of trying to work out, okay, what am I putting here, what am I putting there kind of thing, but at least I sort of got that happening here at the moment, so that's all good. Um, but right now, from what I can do, which is really not much at all because I really don't want to go out at night, as you can see, we have a doggy over there. Um, I might be able to actually see if I can... Can I attack you? And nope. Oh, look at that. That was close. No, he's sort of like patrolling the place. Come on. If I think if I can do that. No. Just want to harvest him for his, you know. Was oh, that a pig? Is that a pig or is that a dog? I don't know. I want you to be like a an animal that I can get food from. Because that'll be very helpful. Now you're a dog. You're definitely a dog. Nope. Man, I am so bad at aiming as far. There we go. If you can stay... No. Actually, I'm going to get you on my terms. Come over here. See if I can path you over here. Path, come over this way. No, he's just going to go all out relentlessly where he is now. Yeah. If 
I can sort of make a bit of an outer. Here we go. And I can just lay into him. It's just going to stay there. I doubt he's going to move, which is good. Good for me. Oh, he got in. You pain. Oh well. I'm sure he will forget where I am and he will tire himself out. I would imagine that he'll probably either path his way out here, but I know some of these zombies here, they sort of get confused and they really don't want to, you know, straight away from what they're initially doing, so. Alright, so I've got a doggy in the house, so that's my problem here at the moment. But anyway, why, while he's doing his thing, I've got two points to spend right now. So, I don't want to do pack mule or anything like that, but if I want to do anything with cooking wise, um, so let's go back into here, let's go into the food attribute over here, um, there's really not much here, if I just type in meat, I've got charred meat that I know that I can build, if I get this, I just need Master Chef, and if I get this, I need the grill for that, so I won't be able to utilize that unfortunately, but at least with this, I should be able to at least get some food happening for myself at the same time, because now I've got the cooking pot, um, I should be able to go into here, and if I go into Master Chef, hit the bachelor, perfect, uh, go back into here, uh, let's just go meat again, yeah, Oh, okay. So I can do grilled meat as well. See, I don't know what's better. That's the thing. I don't know if boiled meat is good or if, uh, grilled meat is good. That, I'm not too sure of. But consider... Ooh, he's snarling at me. Actually, I don't even have a campfire. What is going on? So... Let's get a campfire set up. Because I thought I did have a campfire, but I don't. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, these guys are these guys are really angry. They are pissed. Um, right, so let's go let's use. Wait. Let's go to use. Um, yeah, so they're gonna do some damage here, unfortunately. It is what it is. And I'm just gonna do, see if I can do some grilled meat. Uh, no, I can't. Can I do that? Yeah, see, I need the cooking grill. So for uh, right now, all that I can do is simply get the um, uh, boiled meat. And look, this is probably either good or bad. Well, however, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, this is either good or bad. However you guys wanna do this, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway, just so I've got food on me. The other reason why that I'm doing this here is collectively, I've got... Here, I've got two empty cans that I can fill up and get... Um, and I've, I've got water close by. I've got the glass jars, that's not going to be a problem. So, that little water tower over there has a little um, station of water. So, I've got water. I don't have any problems for me to um, worry about any sort of water intake, um, any sort of inability for me to get water or anything like that. So I should be fine based on that alone. So aside from that, I don't think I should have an issue with water supply. And if I can get enough um, uh, empty bottles, I'll be absolutely fine with that. And if I can get my... Um, if I can get my raw meat like I was just beforehand, then fantastic. I wouldn't have a problem at all moving forward. What I wanted to show you guys is this place over here. Um, that's the paper factory. And from what, I can see, from what I've been able to see, you can get a ton of experience. And not only that, the experience that you get in there, um, you'll be able to use what you can harvest, which will be the paper that's inside, hence the paper mill. Um, and convert that into money and hopefully when we go to the trader I'll be able to get enough money and experience 
at the same time and hopefully I might be able to buy something that I probably will need early in game so that would be the little strategy I would have for the minute the other problem that I, I see is that I know there's going to be a restock on day four so I'm probably gonna to have to wait and see when or what is available uh, moving forward so um, we'll see how we go and if I can get something you know um, pretty quickly then I will and then when the restock happens we'll see and try and luck from thereafter but I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for today so I appreciate you guys stopping by um, I'm gonna wait till the morning and we'll head out on the next adventure and I'll do that in the, the next video so with that being said and all done appreciate you guys stopping by make sure you hit the like button please guys if you guys enjoy the video make sure you hit the like button um, comment down below let me know what you guys are doing with your current builds at the moment in the game um, what do you guys suggest for me so again before I let you go what do you suggest that I do um, I've got one point I might just hang on to it but I don't know if I want to go into the um, where is it uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, I've missed it. I've completely blanked out and I don't know where I'm, what I'm looking at. Um, well, one of them is the Pummel Pete. That's the, the attribute here. So Pummel Pete will specialize in uh, knocking uh, zombies down with clubs. So I'm going to have to go into Strength and, um, and the Pummel Pete uh, attribute. So do I go down to Strength um, attribute? I'm not too sure yet. Um, I do want to get minus 69er down and mother load as well, just so I can um, get more harvesting happening as well at the same time. So, something like this, I'm going to have to start looking at very, very soon. Um, I don't know if I want to get the bicycle happening. I did that in my other world as well. So, I was sort of kind of hoping that at least I could do some sort of um, uh, rare find. And then just purchase it through the trader. That that was my hope, but never happened. So I ended up just buying, um, building it myself and specking into it. But yeah, this is where the luck of the game sort of comes into play. So yeah, you sort of got to look at that from that sort of perspective. And if I move into the um, the fortitude build, that's where I've got the brawler. So I don't know if I want to do brawler yet. I think what I'm sort of looking at, or what I'm hoping, is or whatever happens, I guess. But I'm sort of going to leave it down to the trader luck and I'm, I'm going to either spec into either one or, or another build based on the item that I find in the trader so that's what I'm sort of looking at here so we'll see what happens I'm not too sure if I will spec into it or spec into either one I'm not too sure yet so we'll see what happens let's see if I can get this guy no come on doggy no, oh my goodness. I really want to take you out. Oops. Come on. Come on. Headshot. Nice. Good. I don't have to deal with you in the morning. Anyway, guys, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and I will catch you guys next time.